So you finally upgraded to the new iPhone 15 family and your heart is set on Apple's official first party cases but you're not sure which color to get. Or maybe you're planning on upgrading very soon and are currently window shopping. Whatever your case may be, you've come to the right place. Hey everybody, I'm your host, the one and only, and in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the all new fine woven cases with MagSafe that replace Apple's beloved iPhone leather cases that debuted this year with the introduction of the iPhone 15 line. I really hate to see the leather options go, but Apple is making a valiant effort in playing their part in conserving the earth and have plans of transitioning to be fully carbon neutral by the year 2030. Whether you love or hate fine woven, it looks like it's probably here to stay. But before we start, this isn't the only fine woven accessory Apple released this year. They also released all new fine woven MagSafe wallets and the all new fine woven magnetic link bands, both of which I already reviewed. So if you want to see those videos, click the card at the top right or check the video description. Alright, these new cases are kind of mid, I'm not gonna lie, already in the hands, I miss the texture and feel of leather, but whatever, we gotta give these a chance and a fair shot. So without further ado, let's roll the intro and take a look at what these brand new fine woven cases have to offer. <laughs> All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, here we have them. For this release, Apple blessed us with five all new colors to debut their new fine woven iPhone cases. We have Mulberry, a majestic wine like color, Evergreen, a rich and mysterious dark pine green color. Then we have Taupe, a perfect neutralizing color that isn't too bright nor too dark. Then there's Pacific Blue a gorgeous blue color that is subtle, yet offers plenty of character. And finally, we have black, and you really can't go wrong with black, it's a classic. Before we dissect the new colors a little further, let's first discuss pricing as well as look at the design of these cases in a little bit more detail. First off, these cases are not cheap by any means. Apple's official first party fine woven cases are priced at a premium, setting you back a hefty $59 a case. This is the same price point as the prior leather offerings. And I know what you guys are saying, I can hear y'all even through your display. Why in the hell are these cases so damn pricey? Did God make them himself? Are they made of gold or something or some other rare earth element? Sadly, no, this is what is referred to as the Apple tax. I know, it's a huge bummer. But if you can stomach the cost, the cases make a perfect companion for your new iPhone 15. That way everyone knows you're a first party snob. They are sleek, minimalistic, and adhere perfectly to Apple's design language. By the way, these cases are offered across the entire iPhone 15 lineup if that wasn't clear already. So that includes the regular 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro, and 15 Pro Max. When ordering online, please, please triple check you ordered the correct phone for your respective iPhone 15 model as that is very important. And for those wondering, no, your iPhone 14 cases will not be compatible. The dimensions are ever so slightly different. And anyway, if you picked up a pro iPhone 15, then you have the action button and need that dedicated button. So speaking of, let's take a quick tour of the case itself. It's very familiar, all except, of course, the newer eco-friendly material being used and just a few minor refinements. Now, if you have that pro model that I mentioned, then you of course now have that action button instead of the ring mute slider. So your case will not feature the cutout to switch it from ring to silent. And instead, you'll simply get another color matched metallic button above your volume ones that is just as clicky as all the other buttons. The buttons on these cases feel super clicky and tactile and they're very responsive. The cases also fit like a glove over my shiny new iPhone 15 Pro Max. Of course, this is what we'd expect from a first party accessory. On the bottom, we have our cutouts for our USB-C ports allow us to easily charge your device with no intrusions, as well as allowing your audio to emit without any interference. On the back side, we have our debossed Apple logo, as well as our square cutout for our camera sensors. Around the sides and on the perimeter of the case is where we get a subtle change. Here, the material seems to darken and almost feels like it's a tougher version of fine woven than what's being used on the back. You can see the contrast between all the cases with the darker colors around the sides versus the predominant color on the back. 
It almost feels as if extra plastic materials were used here to make it sturdier, but it could just be me, I'm just speculating. This is a welcome addition as it adds extra durability to your device in the event of an accidental drop on its side. Clearly, while these cases offer some decent protection, the front is completely exposed, so you'll definitely want to slap on a screen protector to get that 360 degree protection. And just as before, the inside is lined with this microfiber material that diligently safeguards the device's backside from potential scratches caused by trapped dirt, sand, or any other foreign particle. We can also see our ring around the backside of the case, which is an indication that lets you know that this case is MagSafe compatible, meaning you can wirelessly charge with the case on using any Qi-enabled wireless charger, and you can use any MagSafe accessory using this case, such as Apple's very own fine woven MagSafe wallets, among others. Alright, so now let's dive a bit deeper into these fresh, vibrant iPhone case colors. Now, a quick side note, I picked up my iPhone 15 Pro Max in the natural titanium color. So, that is the only phone I will use to model these new cases on. I mean, when it comes to cases, it honestly doesn't even really matter all that much what color you get, since 90% of it will be covered anyway, with only your camera cutout being the only identifying factor to distinguish your iPhone color. So first up is Mulberry. This majestic shade showcases a wine-like richness, adding a touch of elegance to your device. It's a color that's bound to stand out in a crowd, perfect for those looking to make a bold statement. I really am a sucker for burgundy and wine-like colors. I really like Mulberry as it's a perfect fall one, and it's up there as one of my favorites of this release. Evergreen follows closely with its deep and mysterious dark pine green hue. It evokes a sense of sophistication and pairs excellently with various styles, whether you're going for a classic or modern look. The only downside is under low lit conditions, Evergreen ends up blending in with the shadows and looks very, very dark, almost black at times. But best yet, if you really want to flex on your haters, you can pair this up with the Evergreen Fine Woven Magnetic Link Band. That way, people know that you are truly an apple sheep. Another color that features a magnetic link is the taupe color. Taupe strikes the perfect balance as a neutralizing color. Not too bright, not too dark, and it complements any outfit with ease. It's a versatile choice for both casual and formal occasions. Now, because this is no longer leather, this case will not undergo the patina process, and historically, tan and brown leather ages perfectly. So I'm interested to see how this color will hold up over the elements over time. Pacific Blue offers a different charm with its gorgeous yet subtle blue hue. It manages to be both understated and full of character, much like a calm summer day by the ocean. This color shines especially under natural light. It really showcases its beautiful blue tints when sunlight is hitting it directly. It's almost like it brightens up a couple of shades. Pacific Blue, just like Taupe and just like Evergreen, also have that magnetic link offering. And finally, we have Black. Black is a timeless classic and you truly can't go wrong with it. The sleek and elegant black finish never goes out of style, making it a safe and stylish choice for any iPhone user. Again, I reiterate, black leather normally patinas to perfection, but with the black fine woven material, we simply cannot expect the same treatment. And it's a shame. Watching your leather case morph and change over time was half the fun. These new case colors bring a fresh perspective to your iPhone, regardless of which iPhone color you choose, allowing you to express your personal style with each choice. Whether you're going for bold and vibrant or a timeless classic, Apple's got you pretty much covered. And there you have it, guys. Let me know which of the five colors is your favorite. Apple has also released some brand new silicone case colors, which I will also be reviewing here shortly. The silicone line has a more or less brighter, more energetic, and more pastel-like colors versus fine woven. Up next, though, I do have the new M3 iMacs to cover and go in depth, and so stay tuned for that. And only way to not miss it is by hitting that subscribe button down below. Fine Woven has now been out for almost two months, but I still gotta say, I don't really like it. I tried giving it an honest shot, but I do miss my leather accessories, and I would take leather over Fine Woven every single time. But as always, guys, make sure to stay hydrated. It's super important to always drink your water. I'm clocking out for now, but I cannot wait to catch you all in my next video.